Hey guys, my name is Eric Weiner. I'm the youth pastor here at Waypoint Church. And uh, so for our first episode of our series, I thought we could answer the question, what is the Waypoint Youth Group? And to be honest, it's, it's actually, it's hard to answer that question because the Waypoint Youth Group is so many different things. Yeah, actually, I don't think I can answer this by myself. I'm gonna need some help here. But luckily we have a lot of youth leaders and, and youth who can help me answer this question. Unfortunately, None of them are here right now, but that's okay because I'm really good at finding people. Come on, let's go. Traffic is killing me. What is the Waypoint Youth Group? What? I said. What is the Waypoint Youth Group? Oh, it's just you, Eric. You had me scared. Why'd you do all this? Well, you know, I, I needed to ask you guys about the Waypoint Youth Group, and, and this seemed like the most entertaining way to do it. What? You didn't have to scare us like that. I see you. Thank you. Except, you spilled my pretzels, so I'm kind of mad. Hey, I, I, I'm sorry about that. You owe me pretzels now. Okay, so let's just get back to what we were talking about, which is, what is the Waypoint Youth Group? It's kind of hard to answer. Yeah, that's why I brought you here. We're gonna need to get more people. Okay, so first thing I wanna ask is, describe the youth group in one word. Lit. Fun. Unembarrassed. Supportive. Unique. Energetic. Vibrant. Weird, fun, dramatic. All these crazy things. It's just like everything. I don't know if you could like fit all those descriptions in one. If that was one word, that would be it. Like all those different things. What's the most fun game we played? The most fun game we played? Oh, we played a lot of fun games. Of course, we played all the dodgeball games. We've played this game with the chair. But we played sardines, lots of fun sardines. That might be my favorite. It's either sardines or manhunt. Sardines. Manhunt, yeah. Out of all the fun games, my favorite has to be manhunt because we played them in winter retreat in the giant area. We used the walkie talkies. That's just really fun to do. And even when it took us like 30 minutes to find Nathan and yeah, it was still really fun. Just like, Last week with the animal crackers was pretty fun. I think a lot of people had fun just like swatting animal crackers out of people's hands. Family. Dodgeball. Probably a dodgeball with chairs. Anything that's not a form of dodgeball. That time where everyone had to duct tape someone to the wall to see if they would fall or not. But I didn't fall. Um, I think everyone left me there for a while, but it was okay. Okay, I want you to take this one really seriously, okay? Who do you think is the funniest person in the youth group? Maybe Jimmy, but Caleb says some pretty funny stuff too. Uh, Maggie can also be pretty funny, uh, but I don't know. Between the three of them, probably like consistently the most funny is Jimmy, I think. I say Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy. 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 Jimmy's weird funny. Oh, 
Maybe I shouldn't say that. Oh well. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard because not that many people are funny. Me, Me obviously. obviously. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm kidding. The funniest? Well, I think a lot of people are funny in different ways. Kelvin. Kelvin's the funniest person. I know. Mulan's just hilarious. She's really funny. Um, ever like different people. I don't know. Caleb. That's someone who's hilarious. Um, and then like Ellery is really funny. If you're talking to her, like if she just like whispers something next to you, sometimes it's like the funniest things to see. It's like different people at different times. How would you describe the community of the youth group? It's friendly, loving, kind, really understanding. Um, you could just, I don't know, be yourself around everybody without fear of any judgment. This group is really close. I guess it's not clicky, and so it's like anybody could come, and there are like different people who are very different from each other, but like it all works out, I guess. I think that it's really cool to see that despite the fact that you have uh, middle school, high school age boundaries, that you know, you have uh, really large um, age differences at times um, and kids from all sorts of different schools all around the the triangle area um, I think it's really cool that they're all sort of unified um, in their mindset coming to youth group loving Jesus and, and studying the word loving fun um, something new every day uh, a new TikTok dance, a new joke, a new reference. But the one thing that doesn't change would be, of course, Jesus. And also Backstreet Boys, I want it that way, so. Okay, uh, how about this? Share some of your thoughts about the, the youth mission trip. Uh, last summer, I we went to Florida and helped a, a man rebuild his fence. That was really cool. I absolutely love both the mission trip and the retreat. They couldn't have been longer. I mean, they couldn't have been shorter. They should have, I would have been fine with doing them for like multiple weeks. It was just so, such a fun time to bond together and just like feel free from all the stress that I have in my life and just enjoy each other and just enjoy God. And yeah, it was, and have fun, great experiences. I think they're awesome. I think um, I had a blast. I learned a lot. Um, but I think just to see everyone bonding together so well and to form bonds that are not just like we're just having fun, but real connections. Um, I know that those connections are going to continue to grow and go deeper. And um, yeah, that God's going to just use that for everyone to... I don't know, growing his love. How excited are you for the Charleston mission trip? Pretty excited, pretty excited. I am so excited for the Charleston trip. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. Uh, trying to see if I can go, but I'm really excited for it. Oh, I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm glad that um, more people get to go than went on the last mission trip and stuff too. Should be really fun. Charleston is one of my favorite places in the South, I guess as a Northern transplant. Um, I should say that, uh, but I really um, am encouraged by the fact that these kids have a heart for that city. Um, there's so much history, so much work to be yeah. done for the kingdom there. Um, and so I'm just really excited to see uh, what will come of the mission trip this summer. I absolutely cannot wait. Wow, yeah, those are some great answers. Yeah, I think I think we got some really good stuff here, some stuff that we can can really use for this. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Can you untie me now? Oh yeah, I, I almost forgot. All right. Okay. Eric, Eric, you didn't untie me. Eric, Eric, you didn't untie me. Uh, funny joke, Eric, Eric.